Hi, my good listeners. You're welcome to Delora Studios. This is the concluded part of the employee directory application. And we'll be rounding off with the employee details. Let's get to have more attributes of the employee. I'll talk about the first name, last name, the employee title, uh, the city, gender, and so on. In future tutorials, we're going to be including the search implementation and we'll have the ability to upload an employee picture into the SQLI database using the content provider. Without much ado, let's head straight to Android Studio and let's implement the employee details activity. Right there in Android Studio, if you're heading into this playlist for the first time, I will implore you to check out the other videos in the playlist because this wrap it up with a detail page. For us to have this implemented, we'll create an employee details example in the layout, uh, which you see right now, with uh, a preview. Let's get to look at how the layout will look like. So it's going to actually enumerate all the attributes of an employee with its corresponding value. So I have the layout this way with a scroll view, which will actually help our smaller phones. And uh, a linear layout is the uh, outer layout that wraps all, all other elements of the form. And we have each input. The first name has this layout, which we use the app compact text view to make it uh, serial, serialized. We also have for other inputs. This is the last name. So that wraps it up neatly. Until we get to the gender. That's the app compact text view. It's a, it's a layout from the address support design, which is good. Check it out. It's going to help your layout and it's going to make it look uh, well formed. From here, we'll be heading straight to our activity where we're going to have the logic. And right after the employee list view, where we set the adapter to the cost adapter, here that we have the on item long click listener and the on item click. So we made a replica of the intent which we passed in the item long listener, which actually uh, sets some data. We have the employee URI, which is the current URI, which we are actually appended that represents the specific employee that was clicked on by appending the ID that was passed into this method from the uh, URI content URL with the ID of the position. Now the same attributes will be used there, the current employee URI with the ID of the position because now we are using we are still using the adapter view, but we're just setting on item click listener, which we are all familiar with. We set the URI on the data field of, of the intent using the current employee URI and uh, we have the employee editor extra return and the button which serves as the uh, swipe the circular review and we start up the, the intent it takes us down to the employee details which we've declared from the intent at the top right there now let's look at the employee details we are definitely expecting the current employee URI which is the intent that is coming from the employee activity. That's why we declare a field here and we set all other fields we are looking at. The name, last name, title, department, city, phone, email and gender. We get the intent and also get the data uh, which will pass it to the current employee URL variable we've created in this class. Now we need to check if it's null. So if it's null, we have a toast 
that no employee data available else we have to initialize the loader we also need a loader here with the help of a loader we can decode the URI which uh, we are getting as the data value now we implement the load loader manager up here calling the cursor and the core packs which we have to implement our three methods the uncreate loader the unload finished and the unloader reset so we have to implement them as well which we have them created here the uncreate loader where we have the projection of all columns used and now uh, we return a cursor loader which has the parent activity as the context as the this keyword our current employee URI is very important because that's where the data is coming from uh, the projection the columns involve uh, the selection clause arguments and sort order which we pass that to be null cool unload finished we proceed with moving the first row of the cursor and reading data from it so this should be only row in the cursor while we iterate through the cursor we move to first to find the columns of employee attributes that we are interested in and we are interested in virtually all the name and uh, down to the gender which is corresponding table columns and we have to extract out the value from the cursor for the given column index after it's written and we get uh, specific values which we pass to the variable we've created right here we get the string from the first column index down to the gender column index which now the gender is an integer can we remember we have in it in uh, arrays 0 1 and 2 so we have to decode that as well now after having that we update the views on the screen with the values from the database because we've actually initialized those uh, views where if you can remember now we are setting the text to the strings variable we saved all those values to same thing goes down to the email last name title department city phone and let's see how we did the gender uh, we use a switch case uh, because we are actually expecting an integer and we know that uh, the first integer zero will be unknown while for one will be male and for two will be female so that's why we could set that because these are known expected values which we need to just uh, compare to the, in the, the original value we are expecting. So that sets all the attributes of the employee in the details, which uh, we have that uh, set up and simplified. But before we actually finish this, we need to register the employee details in the manifest, which uh, we had to include it like any other activity we used same thing we did for the editor and I uh, will specify the theme and the parent name and this metadata actually supports the parent activity of lower version of Android 4.0 downwards I will specify the parent activity as the metadata name and also the value so that wraps it up for the employee directory application and uh, I'm going to show the screencast of this uh, we actually see how this actually look and uh, we implore you to lay your hands on other parts of this video it's so short and it's actually going to learn from this if you're getting into this for the first time uh, it's a playlist which you actually enjoy the learning there and uh, we wrap it up for the employee directory application in subsequent videos I will be integrating the search and uploading pictures to the database as I've said so we can still extend more from this presently I said bye bye thank you guys for hanging out with me please uh, don't forget to always subscribe to my channel and uh, I'm there to always give you the best bye bye for now